right, we're back. <laughs> Gonna try to conquer that thing today, get that finished up. I had to uh, run down and get some gas. I was down to a quarter of a tank. And the, oh, <laughs> I didn't have my bedroom doors secured here. So they were sliding around back here as I was driving. That's the thing, you know, when I first got here, I had to uh, run around and try to secure everything. Oh, okay, look at this. This is why it wasn't secured, because I unscrewed this the other day when I was working on this wallpaper here. I didn't film that because I've filmed so much wallpaper that I've done in here. But um, I unscrewed this, so that's why that was loose and those were swinging around as I was driving. But as I was saying, yeah, before you drive you got to make sure that everything is secured or else it all starts bouncing around and you know this thing's like a boat when you're driving it a boat on the waves <laughs> see here's other stuff back here that I did not secure and half of it ended up on the floor but anyways we're gonna get this place warmed up and work on that thing there see if we can't finish it as I was saying I was at a quarter of a tank and, uh, and it cost 95 bucks to top it off. All right, let's get this place warmed up. Okay, so I was about to start on the doghouse up there. And I put a movie on the TV up here, which is Explorers. I love that movie. And for some reason, this TV did this, which is okay because this TV is coming out anyway. But seeing that, for some reason, pushing the power button won't even shut it off. So I thought, well, let's just get it out of there. So that's what I'm doing right now. Anyone who might be doing this themselves, wondering how to get it out of there, first thing you had to do is remove this panel. There's screws all around the edges. This was upside down like this, up in here. And then there was a big bolt there, a bolt over here, and a bolt over here, which if you can see back in there, and I guess you really can't at the moment, but there's like a bracket in there that that bolt grabbed onto and it went around the TV and down this side and grabbed onto it over there. You can kind of see it right there. It's that metal thing. And that's what held onto the TV, um, you know, keeping it in that hole there. But now that I've got all that out, I should be able to just slide this out of there. Should. There we go. Okay. Strange. That TV was probably top of the line back in the day. That's what it looks like in there. At least we know the electrical works in there. All right. <laughs> I said the other day that I don't procrastinate, but I'm procrastinating today. I still have not started on that thing yet. I got the TV out of there. I got this thing out of my closet that used to be attached to that wall there. And it's going into garbage because, well, it's a piece of junk, but it, uh, it was basically a table that used to come up and out. And uh, it was there for the chair that used to be there, but that chair's not going to be there. That thing's going to be right there. And I was back here cleaning up a little bit cleaned up this area here and I was looking at this going okay is that good enough or do I want to buy a new thing <laughs> but truthfully as long as there's no leaks or anything it's good enough it I mean it's in really good condition hey there's a double me oh my god I'm a nerd what the heck does that even mean man <laughs> that shows you the weird mood I'm in tonight but uh yeah, I mean, it's just a little dated, but who cares? I mean, it's in good condition, and um, I don't see any evidence of leaking or anything, so why spend any more money? I looked at some things at Lowe's, some vanities that were really nice, and a really big mirror that would go over here with those lights up there as well. And I really do like that, but yeah, I'm not going to spend the money on it. There's no reason to do it besides that I want to. All right, I got it ready to roll here. I think I've been putting it off because I'm kind of scared of it. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up, but then again, I got to remember, I got plenty of extra uh, carpet in case I do mess it up. So let's just start cutting, start gluing, I don't know. We'll figure it out. My mind's accelerating. And I'm thinking about the good times that we had 
My friend said you were overrated I always told them they couldn't understand The things you did to me You showed me what it's like to fall in love Only you could set me free I didn't think that I could ever get enough Alright guys, this is going to be a multiple day video. I had to shut that camera off and just work on this stupid thing for a while and absorb being so mad at it while I tried to make it work. Um, you wouldn't believe how difficult this thing is. I mean, I got around this edge and down there. Same thing over here. Um, I got these attached down over there there's a mixture of glue and self-tapping screws in there metal tapping screws because i tried to use the one metal tapping screw to hold these little flaps down over here until the glue cured and they went in so easily that i'm like what let's go ahead and use those so i started putting them in other places and i got two of them in and all of a sudden they started giving me so much trouble everywhere and just like i expected with uh screws they started twisting up the fibers and they weren't going in and i had to hammer them and oh i'll tell you what i have been mad before but i was angry <laughs> oh my god how do i live with myself <laughs> anyway i got everything cleaned up here i'm gonna pull in the slides and get out of here for the night because i am tired and i just need a break and uh i'll be back tomorrow for me that'll be in like i don't know probably 15 hours for you guys it'll be just like this all right good morning guys holy crap i'm getting ready to go back to the rv again getting my coffee ready here that took almost every drop of coffee in there it gives me about two drinks before i take off but i got a whole bunch of fake sugar and half and half in there Getting ready to take that to the RV.